Hello. Stay safe, have fun, I love you. I'm off to feed the creatures. Hello, darlings. Oh, good evening. It's the king of the universe. Ah, baby. Ooh, she's like, will you get me some animal fries if you go to in and out Me too, says Dubsy. This one's like... Come here. Careful. You're like, oh, oh. Roast. Okay. We're gonna have to do dinner a little differently today. So this is critter meal time for dinner. There's one cut, two cut. Saturday. Oh, it's in October 2023. Are you coming back? Yep. No, not right now. Back in the men. The crows have been really persnickety at dinner time. So, we gotta get your persnickety like me and like. They come and they take the peanuts. Oh, here comes the chicory. Come on, baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come. Come on. Where'd she go? You know what the chicory wants? He says, I want a double double. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, you guys. We've got gray squirrels, American crows, chicory. Hi, you guys. I waited a little bit later. Oh. So that way, they can get the peanuts because the, the crows have been taken up. Hey, here you go. Here you go. Woo. Okay. So, the same through the Voodoo Donuts In and Out Burger Raising Canes thing. So, Voodoo Donuts, the one I was thinking about going to, was in Vancouver, Washington State. It's the first Voodoo Donuts location in Washington State. And I have not had Voodoo Donuts. I walked past one with some of my colleagues in Portland, Oregon, but none of us wanted to go. There was a long line and the wait was like 40 minutes. In Vancouver, the wait might not be that bad. It might depend on what day of the week I went, what time of day and that kind of stuff. Um, Raising Canes is in the shopping center in kind of like downtown Portland. So we'd have to get like a parking garage spot and it's in a food court in the shopping center. And it is the only Raising Canes location, at least currently, in Washington State or Oregon. So if I'm getting that correct, it's actually the first location in the Pacific Northwest, as in like Washington State in Oregon. And then in and out, there's like three locations in Oregon and there's no locations in Washington State. So they're like one of the first three. And I've not had any of those chains food even after living in California for over four years. So, come on. Yes, and we got a bunny rabbit. It's a little bit of a drive, and I was like, I could do a full meal. It'd be, it's a, a, a lot of driving, a lot of gas, so I don't know. Keep going. I don't know if like, all right, you guys, dinner served. Ding, 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 ding. We're gonna try and keep the crows from getting it, so I might just do over here for now. I would do like, we got Stellar's J. Hey, hey. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. It's in the bush. Come on. You guys, you're too close. Have a day. 
So like, hi sweetie. Keep going, go ahead. Oh, there's another Stellar's J. So I don't know, like, well, it would be like feed the critters in the morning, go, and then I could add maybe like three or four places, get like six or seven places, so add three or four in addition to those three that I've mentioned, and then do like a see what is open and doesn't have a line and how the day is going kind of thing. I have done the longest drive I have done since um, moving in here in 2019 um, to my parents' house where I currently live. I think the longest day adventure I've done is 17 hours. So, time is, it takes a lot, especially if I want to YouTube it, like the, the videos I take, same day. That's a, it's, it's a lot, a lot of work to do something like that. One, two, I need money, so, which is retirement account, but I haven't withdrawn money, at least as of filming this, so there's that. This is two, three. Uh, if I went to six or seven places, it kind of is like, how much food do I want to eat? The most food I've ever eaten in a day, I did like one day in 2022. It was like Thanksgiving where I ate like 7,000 or 7,800 calories. I can't, I'm not, I'm not a good, like some people can do really big splurges or like cheat days. And I'm not that person. I do very controlled eating, um, but not like eating disorder controlled eating. So like, treat it as like, a, I think like if I, there, there's the option of I could order like one thing at each place, or there's the option of I could order like, you know, a burger and fries at each place or or whatever kind of place I end up or approach I take I end up taking. Um, and then do you like a treat it as like a calorie challenge, which is good, especially if I actually did end up doing like running full time or at least half time as a job and I had to eat like 6,000 or like even 8,000 calories a day or something like that. That's 8,000 calories is more than I've ever met in a day. So it'd be like a good, could I do it? I, I do it very infrequently and it's not binge eating. It's like very controlled. I want a little bit more of this kind of thing. Um, so then there's a little bit of the, 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 on, the problem I have with something like that on the calories and is, okay, let's say it was even six or 7,000 calories. That tends to not feel so good the day after. So I might not want to exercise the next day. So I got to think about that with my routine. And then the second one is all of the food places like Vancouver, Washington State, Portland, Oregon, Kaiser, Oregon. That would be like drive three hours just to hit the first place. So the food places are very close together versus like when I've eaten 7,000 calories in a day before, it was well spaced out, you know? So like there's really like a component of it that's like, I don't even know if I could do it. So maybe like if I actually did it, it would be like a Christy Higgs and Eric Lamkin, the electrics inspired day or Nick Dompierre inspired day and his, his wife, Laura, you know, like do something like that to be like, treat it as a, oh, I, I guess though the electrics are the, and Eric, the electric is kind of like the food challenge guy, so to speak. But I don't know, I think Nick Dompierre kind of treats his cheat days like calorie challenges sometimes so like somewhere like but it's not a cheat day it's like I don't know how people define a cheat day I just don't do I I do like I, I kind of view cheat days are like part of a person's routine and I, I can't routinely eat that many e extra calories like my, my little system goes no um <laughs> kind of thing um so yeah I don't have anything against cheat days personally just I, my 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 body, my appetite, and exercise habits are like, eh, okay. Look at them all. See, one, two, three, four, five. They're, that's a Stellar's, but the, there's so many. They're just waiting to take you guys a peanuts, and that's no good, huh? Come on, squirrels! So you guys, this is a very YouTube specific video, fun kind of video. Thinking about like there's pros and cons 
to adventures like that, not least of all finances and gas and stuff like that. Hey, a calories consumed. Yeah. Love you. And then the critters might miss a meal or two, but that would be okay. Especially with these crows, you guys. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what, what if I, there's a put this way, if I don't get a withdrawal from my retirement approved at the least, well then I won't be going. There's like, there's like the intermediate stage of I could always submit something and it might not get approved. I, I for whatever reason, I don't know, the stock market crashes or something and they're like, sorry, but we need the funds. <laughs> You know, because the stock market crash is like, what, an instantaneous thing? So, like, there's always that lingering possibility, you know, kind of thing. So that's my thoughts on that. I do have a little bit of a slush fund, but I, I don't actually, like, there's a slush fund, emergency slush fund, and a slush fund of, as in, like, don't touch period in my current Slush fund is more like a don't touch period, even in the case of an emergency, figure it out first kind of thing. Um, and it's not that much. Um, so there's a little bit of hesitancy there. But happy critter meal time. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Happy critter meal time. <laughs>